So this one we're about to try to make uh, could be a pretty cool one. Let me throw these here for a second while I kind of experiment with it for a moment. So let me show you the uh, the basic. This is a this is a mechanic right here that can be really fun to to uh, you know goof around with. So bouncing burst, bouncing burst on its own when it hits stuff it does three damage. However, bouncing burst has a hidden mechanic where um, depending on its velocity gained over its lifetime, it actually does more damage. So if you can make it start off very slow and when it hits something be going very fast, it does a, like a lot more damage. I use the bouncing burst trick, uh, like this little amplification and damage in almost I think every 33 so my 33 or boss my 34 or boss and then there was like a 20 something or boss that one time we did I think it was like an anointed together I don't know why we were doing like a, a really thick boss but uh yeah so pretty much it's it's my go-to um because the acceleration is nuts so here we go so it does three damage on its own with this acceleration it's gonna be hard to get to to hit correctly but actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and just attach this now. The uh, where where is the rot uh, rotate torch? So that way we can see if we can get it going pretty quick. See seven damage. You'll see it. You'll hit. It'll hit different numbers. See, six. Because right now it's it's see four. If I hit it, just shoot directly at it. Three. So the number kind of varies a little bit. So from here, you're gonna you're gonna focus on trying to change the speed in which the bouncing burst travels. So heavy shot is perfect for that because heavy shot actually slows the projectile a lot and usually that's the downfall right like let's say you're shooting at stuff like this and you like it and then you're like all right let's add some more damage and you're shooting now it's like limp you're like fuck this is shit uh however with the acceleration build like i'm showing you here it's actually a good thing that it slows it down so um this does 44 damage and the bouncing burst does three damage so together they should do 40 uh 47 damage but now see that 228 that's because that little multiplier in the bouncing burst is starting to, to take effect where it'll uh, it'll amplify its damage more and more, 295. So watch this. If we add the Moo, what the Moo does is every modifier type spell on the current wand is applied to the projectile. So there's an acceleration, a rotate towards, and a heavy shot. All three of these are happening again because of this Moo. So now when I shoot it, it'll down to, you see that 4,600 damage. I'll shoot it again. It was at 8,000? Hold on. Go to the instant replay, kids. Let's see. 4,000. We saw that one. Eight, yeah, I think it was 8,000. It pops up so quick. It's kind of blurry. Um, this is real. This is all coming off of that uh, bouncing burst. Can you show point blank damage for comparison? Sure. So we'll shoot point blank uh, right here. Yeah. 91. 91. Hey, come on, man. There you go. 241, 91, 181. Very, very low amounts. But you give it that momentum, let it get going. 5,400. Uh, replace to nuke. God damn it, paragraph. Come on, focus up here. Uh, add a pierce for yes. And like Gwaldog said, if you if you had piercing, you could put piercing here, and this thing will just fly through enemies and keep going. The acceleration will just keep going, nothing slowing it down. So it only does more and more damage. The reason this is a bad idea in some cases is the acceler uh, the the piercing would make it where it can do self damage. So while it's going through slicing every enemy in half, it'll touch you and you'll just insta die. So you'd have to put ambrosia on yourself or something like that to make sure when it touches you, it doesn't insta kill you. But um, obviously in this in this situation, we won't necessarily need that. Uh, but we're gonna build us an ad trigger form of this bouncing burst uh, because we've been, we've been using the mist for a little bit. It's fun. But let's uh, let's mix it up a bit. So I was just showing you guys that build, but uh, we're gonna use the actual build on our main one. So let's let's prepare for it. Um, hold up. So this wand here. Let's put it back to the way it was. Which was that, I believe. And then. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, these can stay. Hell, a lot of those things probably can stay. Okay, so. Again, remember the trick I showed you earlier. If we have... If 
we have a bouncing burst that we throw on that got my eyes man there's so much stuff on the screen i'm blind bouncing burst right we shoot it look okay so this is this is a bouncing burst three uh actually yeah it's gonna it's gonna that's gonna affect our homing a little bit but i don't think it should be a big deal because it's an always cast it's casting a little fucking aura thing so we attach we're wanting to attach uh rotate towards all right that costs 40 mana we're wanting to attach heavy shot that costs seven mana acceleration that's going to cost us 20 mana and then the move it's the exact one we just built that one's 120 mana so we're going to shoot this right watch watch our mana pool right here you see that uh how much damage was that jesus Come, come on, man. Shoot shoot the one. 13k? Did I do 13k? Holy fuck. That, that, that aura thing pulled it in faster, I think. So it kind of kind of amplified the damage even more. But, um, okay, so we got this little combo going. But as you can see, it costs half our mana pool to shoot it. See? Oop. Come on. There it goes. Woo! Half our mana pool. We're going to put an add trigger on the side of it. So now all of these things are are in between the add trigger and the projectile. Watch the mana pool now. Nothing. Pretty much free. And then we can add a little reduce in there too if we'd like. Speed it up even more. Each one of these projectiles, you know, hitting for thousands. And they're just going all over the place. 